Today we take a closer look at the Movember movement. This awareness campaign begins today across the world and aims not only to raise awareness, but also raise funds for men's health issues, including cancer research. But before we get into the interview and give you some numbers behind the movement, uh, we thought we should uh, play you a historic look at the Movember movement. We're now joined in Cape Town by Garan Giselle, who's the South Africa Country Manager for Movember South Africa. Garan, thanks so much for joining us today. So uh, there is a method to the madness of Movember, uh, and of course it does make uh, money for you. It <coughs> goes into cancer research. But tell us about this movement and the importance of it if we're looking at uh, the, the role that it plays from uh, the various areas we're raising money for. So uh, this year, November is running in 21 different countries, including South Africa. And uh, globally last year, as you saw in that video clip, we had just over 1.1 million Mobros and Mo sisters take us and join us on the journey uh, to raise just over 1.2 billion Rand. Um, so the journey starts by, well, being today, 1 November, where we get uh, Mobros to shave in. And uh, by starting, the, well, growing a moustache for 30 days, they effectively become walking, talking billboards for men's health issues. So it's often the ignored issue that men don't generally talk about. And uh, as you'll be able to see in terms of uh, the social media space, last year we generated 2.7 billion conversations around men's health and getting men to look at their health in a totally different way. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you know, also some research on the cancer front that this is going into funding. So tell us about specifically uh, what this research is, fund is uh, focused on. So there's three pillars to what we do. Uh, besides the awareness and education of getting men to grow moustaches for 30 days, we invest the funds that are raised also into survivorship programs with men living with and beyond cancer, as well as research. Now that uh, research is both on a local level and also on a global level, we've got our global action plan where we've got the best cancer researchers from the various different organizations sharing insights. And we've got the philosophy of no borders and no boundaries where duplicating research and ultimately getting uh, faster breakthroughs in terms of uh, in terms of key findings so far we've managed to it's a genome <coughs> excuse me which has been one of the key and fundamental elements uh, the big problem with prostate cancer 60 percent of it being overdiagnosed uh, by determining that there's so many different strains we now are being able to develop tailored treatment for each of the men that are suffering with the disease Mm -hmm. So certainly is a good behind uh, all, the, all the craziness of it because it does start to get scary walking around the streets where people start to look uh, like convicts and you certainly get uh, some odd looking moustaches around. I mean, uh, your thoughts and funny stories around this because it is a Friday and worth sharing some of the crazier mo's that uh, you've seen in your day. 
Well, certainly, uh, it's not the moustache that makes someone creepy, so uh, it's, <laughs> it's certainly not about the mo, but it's exactly that that gets to create the conversation, you know, changing your appearance and, and our vision to have an everlasting impact in the face of men's health and changing the face of men's health is key what starts the conversation and drives people to donate. It's a very personal thing, uh, people suffering with cancer, knowing uh, particularly in South Africa, we've got the figures of uh, currently that's 4,000 men would be diagnosed with prostate cancer and 2,000 will die of prostate cancer this year alone. It gives you an idea that one man dies every four and a half hours in this country. So uh, there's a lack of awareness and certainly by increasing the, the discussion and by uh, casting a spotlight on it, it certainly is bringing it to the fore. So how can people donate to the cause? I mean, what are the various fundraising uh, avenues that you have? Because you, as you said, you raised almost 1.3 billion last year. Uh, what targets do you have this year and what are the avenues that people can get involved in this cause uh, that you provided? So first of all, uh, get signed up on Movember.com. Uh, you can either start a, a team. You know, we found that uh, starting a team within companies is very, very key. There's, there's key um, support that, that comes into play, especially from a donor side. But Movember is a fun campaign. So um, firstly, before you register on Movember.com, sign up either as a MoBro or a Mo Sister. But uh, once you start that journey and you tell people what the motivation is and you start that conversation, uh, it, it prompts uh, people sponsoring or donating towards you. But there's also fun ways of, of participating. Movember's a fun campaign with a serious message behind it. And uh, there's been some really interesting uh, the fundraising techniques that I've seen. Uh, there's a mankini car wash that some guys do. There's swear jars in the office. Um, there's all kinds of things that, that, that MoBros do. There's lawn bowls tournaments. Um, there's, there's car rallies. You know, yeah. so it, it's and what works within your company. And I see the photo of the EdCon board uh, all with Mo's on your website here. So companies across South Africa getting involved. Garon, thanks for joining us. Appreciate your time on that. Get involved in this movement here in South Africa, of course, going towards a very important cause. Uh, Garon Giselle is the South Africa country manager at Movember South Africa.